Mukesh Ambani at the Investors Summit in Kolkata earlier this year said, rename West Bengal as Best Bengal. I want you to be honest, Didi is not watching. <laughs> is it really Best Bengal or is that an exaggeration? You start, Mr. Goenka, first. Quite honestly, uh, Bengal is outstanding for an investor. And I personally have put 21,000 crores of investments in the last five years in the state. There's, there's not been a single day's delay. There has been complete support from the West Bengal government and administration at every level. Uh, so the experience has been absolutely outstanding. And I can't say this for any other state that I operate in. That's high praise. So you're, you're going along with what Mukesh Ambani is saying. Mr. Budhia, do you share that optimism being struck by Sanjeev Goenka? The proof of pudding is in eating. And I can say from my experience, uh, we run five plants here. We have about 2,500 people. And we have never lost one hour in the strike or lockout. And very recently, we put up another <laughs> plant uh, just in West Bengal in Uluveria. And I must admit that we never had to go to any department for any license, whether it's for fire license, factory license, environment clearance, or pollution control board. Everything is online and in line with the charge change environment. And they're just saying that Bengal may band band ho gaya. That is a Bengal very... Bengal may band ho gaya, lekin chuttiyan bad gai hai. I don't I'm think now so. told you're having a full week for Durga Puja. Right. Like uh, other places, they also have a full week for Christmas. So here, Puja is the biggest festival. So instead of keeping a Saturday open, it's better that we have a complete week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Harsh Diotia, do you also share this optimism or is it the specter of Didi out there that if any of you were to say, Bengal is not a great place to invest, next day you're in trouble. Is there a fear factor? For industry? No, no, there is no fear factor. But uh, after Mr. Mukesh Ambani has having already said that this is best Bengal, when he has got interest in almost every state of the country, I have limited interest in a few states. So uh, there is no further endorsement that I think I can give to this uh, topic. All I want to say is that, you know, for us, I think for all three of us, we are absolutely uh, a product of this place. We have you know, lived all our life here. Our families have been here for uh, several uh, generations. And I think, uh, therefore, in a sense, there is a mix of both uh, opportunity, business opportunity, and uh, emotional investment. And I think uh, when we look at Bengal, it cannot be isolated from that very strong emotional bond that we share with the state. That's an interesting way you're putting it, because if I look at the figures, uh, Sanjeev Goenka, there is the positive side. There is little doubt that Bengal has risen in ease of doing business. The, the index shows Bengal on the rise. On the other hand, is there enough investment coming in from outside in core sectors, especially manufacturing and also in services? So three of you are sort of Bengalis, local boys in a way, so you have an emotional connect. What about getting outside investment when compared to a Maharashtra or a Tamil Nadu which are striding ahead with outside investment? Is that a problem that Bengal is still caught in an image trap? Ease of doing business has improved, but to the outsider, it's still seen, is it familiar territory for me to invest in? Well, not too many large investments have actually happened here from investors outside the state. But quite honestly, if you see, not many Indian companies are investing across the country at this point in time. So that's the first point I'd like to make. The second point I'd like to make is, clearly there was a perception gap. 34 years off the left, there was no investment. There was, and the left didn't want investment. That image is beginning to get corrected by these investor summits, by these road shows that the chief minister and the finance minister do. Has it got completely corrected? No, it hasn't. Is it getting corrected? Yes. And people will look for more success stories, more endorsements, and then they will go and uh, put their money. So investing is not about emotion to my mind. Investing is about commerce. And until they have evidence, I do not think 
you will really see investments coming in. But I'm told Big Call was number one in the medium and small scale. It was. Yes, investments. There are a few large investments which are coming in, and you can hear these commitments. And if they were all to happen, then I think it's a good, a very good beginning.